This is Money Matters. I'm Tara Lynn Wagner. When it comes to holiday gift giving, here's a tip. If you can afford it, show your appreciation to anyone who provides a service. This is a time of year where we can really say thank you, and we do that in the form of gratuity. How much can be confusing. Let's start with the people who work in your building. The superintendent might get anywhere from $100 to $250. The doorman? 50 to 100 each. A lot of it depends on our personal budget. It depends on the environment locally, the building type. Patricia Napier Fitzpatrick of the Etiquette School of New York says it also depends on how much you rely on them. So if you have your office at home, you're getting deliveries all day, and the doormen are there to accept them, I would think you'd give them a little more. Speaking of deliveries, you can give your mail carrier a gift worth up to $20. But federal employees are not allowed to accept cash tips or gift cards. Next, there are the people who work in your home, like a housekeeper or nanny. Their tip should be based on their salary. A full-time housekeeper, full-time nanny could get anywhere from a week to a month's extra salary. Babysitters who don't come all the time, maybe they just come occasionally. You just you give them an extra one night's pay. Lena Corape of Gramercy Protocol says that same principle applies to people you see regularly, like your hairstylist or personal trainer. The tip is the cost of one service or one session. So we know when we go to our hairstylist that typically we pay, let's say it's $80 for the service. We know that during the holiday we'll add an extra $80 in a card. How you present this gift is important too. It should be delivered in person in an envelope with a handwritten note. A lot of it has to do with a personal touch. It's a way of saying thank you from the heart. Fitzpatrick also makes a point to use new crisp bills. As for when to make the gift giving rounds, she says there's no time like the present. The um, service providers are going to use this money to buy gifts for their families. Okay, so don't wait till the day before Christmas. <laughs> for Money Matters, Tara Lynn Wagner, New York One.